can I just let you know that those people in Nineveh was Jonah's enemies? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So what does that have to do with me in the in, in the year 2009 in the in the in the culture? What God wants is for us to take the gospel out there well, to those who are sick, amen. to those who are lame, amen. to those who are brokenhearted. Y'all do know what the word of God says. God has anointed and appointed me to preach the gospel. Huh? To those who are sick, to the lame, to bring sight to the blind, to heal the brokenhearted. This power lies within you. The question is, you are equipped to do the job in which God ordained you to do. Why aren't you doing it? Right. Why aren't you going? Why aren't you teaching and making disciples? Why aren't you baptizing them in the name of, of, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. So, Jonah gets a whip that God wants him to do the unthinkable. Say that nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is too hard for God. God's arms are not slack. They're not short. So watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So the storm, the storm comes. Be careful what you rebuke in your life. All right. Be careful of the storms that you rebuke in your life because you don't know from whence they come. Okay, okay. All right, I see y'all like that real good. Verse, verse four. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea and there a mighty tempest in the sea so great that it shook the boat almost until it fell to pieces. Now who caused this storm? God calls this storm. Why is it that every time we face an obstacle, why is it that every time a fiery dart comes up or the storm comes in our life, we want to rebuke it and, and give credit to the devil? Be careful what you rebuke in life. Hallelujah. So watch this. So God sends a storm, and the reason why God sends storms in our life is so that we can be shaped and molded and perfected. Yes. The Bible is clear that Jesus was well acquainted with pain. Yes. With affliction. Yes. Huh? Are y'all hearing me? The way of the cross is full of suffering. What? It's full of pain. Yes. But in the end, joy cometh. Well, yeah. huh? You know why Jesus was able to take everything that he took on the cross? Because he saw the end result. Uh, you know, there's a, there's, there's a phrase that we say today in our church that the church, the body of Christ, the church as we now know it is soft. For, for many of us in the world, we know what that terminology is, don't we? I mean, you know, you, you know, you a punk, you know, you, you punking out. You, you know, you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing. That's right. Huh? You're not doing what God has qualified you to do. And so when I when we got home, it just I was stricken with compassion. Huh? And when I saw the condition of the people up here in the streets, it literally broke my heart. I'm saying to myself, God, where's the church? The Mormons are out there. The Jehovah Witnesses are out there. Huh? The Muslims are out there. The astrologers are out there. But where is the body of Christ in all of this? So God says, Jonah, I want you to go down to the, the most wickedest place at that time on the planet, which was Nineveh. For some of y'all, you live outside of wicked places. You're not there by accident. Stop praying to God to, to take you out of there. Because the Bible says that we are the salt huh, and of the earth. In other words, we, our, what does salt do? Salt seasons, what else does salt do? Preserve. It flavors and it protects. Preserve. That's right. It preserves. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So God says, I have placed you in me and given you the position and authority to go out there and season a world that is full of darkness. To season a world that does not know who I am. And the only reason why sin keeps getting worse and worse in the earth is because the people of God are retreating to the church. 
churches. The people of God are retreating to the four walls. The people of God are retreating to the offices. So what God says is that I want you to come out of your comfort zone. Uh Jonah was comfortable. God wanted him to come out of his comfort zone. And what God is saying to the church today is get out of the boat. You're going to die either way. Mm. You're going to die if you stay in the boat. You're going to die even if you get out of the boat. But know this, that whether you're in the boat or out of the boat, as long as you are in Christ, that's what matters. So Jesus points out to Jonah, I want you to go down there to this great wicked city and preach my word. Tell them that they have 40 days to turn away from their wicked ways. We're talking about that 50 year jubilation thing. And I'm reminded the 40 days to me represents the 40 days that Jesus Christ, when he rose from the dead, he showed himself to man for 40 days. Mm, Is anybody getting this? He showed himself to the world for 40 days and he went back to heaven and 10 days later, which was the Pentecost, representing 50. Uh Right. Then jubilation came. Uh Oh my God. Then the redemption came. Then the power of the Holy Spirit came. And for some of y'all church folks, the the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So so watch this. Watch this. Watch this. But Nineveh before, but but Jonah before even all of that, he says, Lord, you know them jokers, my enemy. Uh I ain't going over there. So what happened? Joe, God caused the storm so great uh, that Jonah, the people on the boat, was wondering why this storm was like that. It was something that they never experienced before. Right. So they got together. Now these people not being spiritual at all. These people, uh, uh, you know, they believed in uh, 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 superstition. Yes, sir. Yeah. So they got together with Jonah and cast lots to find out why all the chaos on the boat. Jonah said after he lost uh, the lot uh, after he lost it they said uh, are you the man responsible for all of this now they thought their gods had revealed it to them but I cannot just tell you that God uh, Almighty was working in the plans and the the reason why it was exposed was because God exposed it so Jonah then says I'm the one responsible for the turmoil on this ship throw me off the ship and everything else will come will, will come to a great calm so what is what is what is what does that all mean what God wants us to do is lay down our life so that someone else our neighbor our enemy can have life life everlasting life eternal so what God wants us to do is take our stand what God wants us to do is stand on his word what God wants us to do is get in Christ and stay in Christ not Christ today and out of Christ tomorrow in Christ one one moment and out of Christ the next moment can I just tell you that Jesus went to church every single day every day every day did I miss something every day we go three four times a week and we can't get that right show up when I want to hold on it's my church such and such and such. I got it going on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't approach me like that, sister. Hallelujah. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I'm blessed and highly favored. Well, since you're so blessed, are you being a blessing? What God told Abraham, I blessed you to be a blessing. So, so, so God tells Jonah, I want you to go to the most wickedest city in the world. Jonas simply flat out refuses and goes the opposite way, away from the presence of the Lord. Can I tell you that anytime you move away against the presence of the Lord Almighty, you, you set yourself up for failure. Anytime you move away 